deck. Hercules is away. Roger. Yeah. Okay, man. Cheers. And deck. Hercules is past the transom. Roger. Man, deck, tether is all the way out. Understood. Roger. Okay, mate. All right. Atalanta's in the water. And deck. Atalanta's in the water. Roger. Going down. Oh, wow. Look at that. In the Atalanta cameras. Okay, can you stick me onto the dive salvo, mate, please? I just clipped it as a three, but now I'm like, I should have clipped it as a four. Thank By you. your dive salvo. <coughs> Cheers. All right, looking good. Hello, 20 dolphins. meters. So they're porpoises, or are they dolphins? Or are the, the two in the same? Pacific white-sided dolphins. Ooh, Pacific what? Pacific white-sided dolphins. Pacific See, they have the white underbelly. White-sided dolphins. Awesome. Thank you, Sean.
That's so nice. So I have like, it's 100 seconds after I push clip that it records. This is an audio slate for dive 1976. UTC is 14 hours, 37 minutes and 20 seconds. Mark? Apologies, yes, I'll do that again. Yep. This is an audio slate for dive H1977. Uh, UTC is 14 hours, 37 minutes and 35 seconds. Mark? Apologies for that. take the camera off of auto iris it may be funky for a second yeah go for it mate there we are Just changed. We've got and back deck. I'll stop at 75 meters and remote has been sent. Roger, thank yep. you. Yeah. Um, well, I can go full bore. So 30, yeah. Don't know, haven't been told. Ascent. On the ascent. Yeah. 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 Rebel without a cause. Or, yeah. <laughs> So, are you going to set that to 30 then, yeah? Uh, yeah, I was just waiting for you to catch up, but now I won't count 30. Yeah, all right, dude. Yeah, that's what we have on the shilling systems. Type in the depth you want it to go to, and... Yeah. The way it goes. Yeah. The only button you have to push is when you want it to go in and out of heave comp. Yeah. Heave compensation is a godsend, mate.
That ought to be a breakfast. You guys breakfast? No. I didn't. Hello. Oh, yeah, my watch is done in about 20 minutes. Yeah. I can probably afford to lose a nine seven. Oh, you're eight. waiting for your for your relief. Yeah, it's fine. I got a half hour after. Oh wait, you're not waiting for your yeah, it's not. Yeah, no, but you're, you're early. No, you're no. late. <laughs> I'm here. She is. Thank right you for on being path. here. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Oh, look at all the fishies. What is that? Ooh. Did you see the uh, dolphins? I did. I saw tons of them this morning before we launched. Yeah. Up the tide. Oh, they're they're, going they were jumping. They were going crazy. Yeah. Can I turn your down lights off, Dave? Sure. How's it going this morning, everybody? We're going down really fast. Uh, you want me to... You no, need to back off. Well, yeah, yeah we're super, super heavy, right? I need to back off. Yeah, but look. What's up? Oh, yeah, you almost need nothing. <laughs> yeah. It's almost heavy. Like. Yeah. Well, that's what Trevor was saying. He wasn't sure exactly, but... Let it sit there somewhere and see what it does. Yeah, it's still backing off. You're, now you're slowing down too much. Mm. So you're all off in 15 minutes. Yes. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Just yeah, get settled in. Decide you like working with some people, and then they just clear off. Yeah. Yeah. God, just. <laughs> it's like, what? Well. Yep. But we got Doug for life. This is Sean. Okay, I can't. I keep confusing Doug and Sean, and it's killing me. Sorry, who? Who's, who's Doug? <laughs> who's, I don't know, who is Doug? Is do we there a Doug? Doug? Do we Doug have a Doug? Doug? Yeah, Doug, Doug? Doug is the guy that's on the aft deck. He does uh, operations down there, so. You probably don't see him because he's on night shift. Well, we're on 3 a.m. to 3 p.m., so. Okay. We do both. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, uh, no, I'm Sean. Nice to meet you, Josh. Okay, Sean. You know, I'll get the names right by the end of the cruise. We're only it's because I, I it's because I, I tried to say Sean something. Like, I, I started to say it was Sean, and he didn't respond. Oh, so sorry. So I assumed yeah. I got the... No, no. No, not right now. It was, like, a few days ago. Was it? Oh, jeez. Yeah. No, I don't it's mean fine. to be uh, it's not, I'm not blaming you. Yeah. Well, he totally is. Maybe I said it wrong. No, it's definitely Sean. So. <laughs> no, but maybe... I, maybe it was... No, I, I get it. Those awkward moments when you say, "Hey, what's hey, you," it, what? and then no response, and you're like, "Oh, you're like, oh no, I got it wrong. <laughs> yeah. I should call him Doug." <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll try to be more present next time. You can time. just, you could just be Doug or Sean, or I could just get the names right. Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> How about that? Well, I'm taking myself off SPL forever then. <laughs> Banned.
Wow. Part of it's when you because you're going forward as well. Our pitch is down, so it's. What's that yellow thing on the deck? Or is not caught a deck? What is that's, it called? Uh, that's an ADCP. A drum set? Yeah, the aquatic bongos. <laughs> aquatic bongo. Mm -hmm. How do you yeah. Make it? Can you make All it go day long, that's what they are now, aquatic bongo. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make it go boom? Sure. I don't think the scientists like that very much. Maybe with a T-Boss we could play them. So, um, Josh, how is this a second date going for you? I'm sorry, I'm a little hard of hearing. How's the second date going for you? Is this this? Second day, I. It's your second trip, isn't it? Oh right, this is my second date on the ship. Mm, if it is. Um. Hmm. Well, it's going well. Uh, the food is improved since my last date. Went to a better restaurant, I guess. Um, the company. Uh, I have yet to decide. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know that awkward. Because I feel like on the first date, I didn't, I didn't have the confidence at the end to go in for the kiss. But it's second date time, so I, at the end of this, you know, it's make or break. I'm not sure I'm there yet. So, but I'm only. We're, what are we halfway into the date right now? I think halfway of roughly. The Halfway? Approaching main meal. Yeah, main meals like being served right now. Um, but I'm getting more comfortable. Uh, I think I might I might be able to lean in at the end. Um, I don't know. I'm starting to get into more depth conversation. You know, when you're on a date and like, you start figuring out their political views and stuff. They don't quite line up with yours. That's not a good sign. Anyone? <laughs> okay. No, I'm gonna leave you out on that I'm one. totally <laughs> banning myself again. <laughs> Dave, this is your first date with OET, right? Yeah, it is. You're not even on SPL. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I am. No, uh, Josh is. He's like, t but Josh is like talking, but no one can hear you. <laughs> he banned himself again. Dave, I, I can never see you, but I have this little opening in the window because I don't have anyone sitting next to me, so I like can peeping Tom to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and, whoa, what was that? Anyhow. Squid ink. Squid ink. It like swam so fast. <clears throat> How's this OET relationship going for you, Dave? Yeah, it's all right. It suits me, keeps me happy. I'm going to push the camera in just ever Welcome, so slightly AJ. to get past the housing. Yeah, okay. That's there. Dave's easy. Yeah, I'm easy pleased. Just swing you around and give you a bit more of a pull, I think. Which date is this for you? For me, this too is my second date. And how are you feeling about your second date so far? My second date? Um, I feel like I need an outfit change, to be honest. <laughs> are you wearing the same outfit that you did on your first date? No, I'm not. What, when's this date taking place? You uh, just arrived. AJ, you, you got to catch up, buddy. So catch me up. I'm here. We're talking every cruise is a date. Oh. So I'm on my second date. Dave's on his first date. 
What date are you on? Like which cruise network? On, on OET. OET. How many cruises second. have you done? Second. second this second is my second, second date. date. Yeah. Second date with Any the Any third C. daters in the room? Fourth? Lynette, how many OET cruises on, have Lynette. you been on? I think this is my eighth. Oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> oh, you're about married then. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, things are getting pretty serious, I guess. Whoa. <laughs> meet, meet the parents? Serious? Yeah. How are we doing here? Maybe, maybe they're meeting the children or the, like, dogs. Or, like, children. Meet the dogs. <laughs> it's a serious step. Eight dates and you've already got kids? That's a lot. No, no. Kids from a previous... <laughs> oh, I see. Like, I've dated a lot of different cruises before. <laughs> this is getting deep. Okay. I'm gone. Bye. Lynette, what's been your favorite OET experience yet? I should hope it's Ocean, it's Ocean Networks Canada related. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely ONC. Don't, don't like plug and stuff yeah, of course in. You can, yeah. That's what I really look forward to. I really like it when the plugs go click. <laughs> I totally moved the screen so that I can no, get a I've peeking peek just over just at everybody on the front row. So I'm feel free to move this as you need, AJ. I don't need it. I don't really do anything back here. <clears throat> oh wow, I made it go up, which is not always the best. Welcome, Steph. I've never seen you in here before. Steph is this is stand-in Sean. It's mealtime Sean. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'll be here for like Which 20 button? minutes probably. You should stay. That might Tell be us about why your uh, dating um, history not. with OET. Miss I could zero in My here. History? Maybe mm -hmm. he didn't see that. This is my first time mm -hmm. with OET. Because there's two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm the data specialist on board. So help with data formatting so we can get our CTD data ingested back in Oceans 3.0, our Sorry. data repository. Sounds like you've solved all the problems, all CTD problems solved. I think they're That's what I almost heard. solved, yeah. Good morning, Barbados. I hope you're having a great day, too. I hope all of us have a great day. This person wishes us a great day. Oh, that's lovely. It will be a great day. Filled with deploying, recovering, pushing. Pushing? Push core sampling. That's what I meant by pushing. <laughs> pushing our agenda. Some video surveys. I request a whale to come in front of us. Did you guys see the dolphins oh. in Atlanta camp? Oh yeah. It was super cool. Pretty so nice. pretty. I, I clipped it for us. Yeah, definitely go back and watch that on C-Tube. It's a highlight. C-Tube. C-Tube. Mark the axis. Where all the fun is. So ROV pilots, before you complain about how heavy this ADCP is, let's remember this was all Trevor's idea. Hey AJ, why is the vehicle so heavy? Hey, why are you so actually quiet? Actually, the vehicle is really light. Me? AJ, oh, really I'm quiet. quiet. I'm loud to myself. How's that? Ah, oh, okay, that's a bit better. Is Probably. that better? Yeah, that's yeah. great. How do I turn down my own voice in my own ear? You gotta like. Press, th side. press three. Press three. Oh, you may have a different panel. I don't know how to help you. <laughs> do, do, do. No, that's correct. Press the top right button. Should be three. Let's say uh, s uh, side tone say level. Side tone level, and then turn the knob above the three. Taking your bubble. Take it down to about minus ten to. Oh, no. mine's like way. Mine's way lower than ten, but. Oh. 
still, it's well, good. It's good. I like it there. If you want the voice in your head to be lower than try a therapist. More I don't need there to. I don't need there to be any voice in my head. Ah, there you go. <laughs> well, unplug the headset. See if that helps. <laughs> my voice is in your head, AJ. That's okay. Thanks. ADCP. Do you know what ADCP stands for? No. Do you want to know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Acoustic Doppler Current Profiler. Acoustic Doppler Current Profiler. Yeah, it's a mouthful. That's why we call them ADCPs. Even that's a mouthful. Why don't Even you just that's call it a, a for sure? I know. We should just call them, I don't know. Let's come up with a better name. Um, call them... What does the A stand for again? Acoustic. Acoustic That's Doppler current. That's like what you current. used to play pool. Oh, okay. <laughs> now we have rules here. <laughs> you know, I'll give you that I have never heard that before. So. That's a borrowed joke from an old Canadian musical comedy group called Bowser and Blue. Hmm. <laughs> Is it from, from Bowser? Does that mm, mean I don't think they're from yourself? Bowser. I think they're from Quebec. Oh. Wow. Yeah. They're, um, those are actually called aquatic, so what did you call them? them, Dave? Aquatic. Yeah, it's just because I stop and yeah, okay. thrust and forward and cut Roger. to come lateral, so. I'll go 27, it's fine. We call it the aquatic bongos. Oh, I like that better, yeah. If we gave you a couple of T-bosses, you could play the bongos. Can make it go boom. Actually, we did that with uh, Josh last uh, year. He had to clean it. He cleaned an ADCP with a T boss, and it was very much like playing the bongos. Aren't bongos a hand instrument? They are. Uh, this oh, would be okay. more like timbales. The tin, tin drum? But Is that what those are? No, that's used for. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, they could be. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I guess those are also a hand instrument. Uh, no, they're small rubber mallets. Hey, AJ. Hey, Trevor. Do you have a sight layout diagram? I do, yeah. Would you like it? I would love to see that, please. Okay. Uh, let's dig it out of this binder. I get you, I'll get you a print one. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Is there one in the dive plan? I can just pull it up. No, the dive plans are are are. I a, have a, a dive plan right thing. here. You want it? Oh, oh no, I missed half of that conversation. Sorry. That's <laughs> all right, Mal and I. I'm about to leave. Why? Where are you going? Bye. Bye. I'm gonna go and uh, rest so that I can wake up for my four to eight p.m. watch. Oh, I also have an interaction at three p.m. Who are you interacting with? A school from Brazil. Oh, awesome. Is Fabio going to join you? He said he would join me as long as there's nothing happening on this side. So, Science oh. Row, please let me take Fabio. I think that would be really exciting for those students in Brazil. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Here you go, Dad, Trevor. Come join SP. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. The side you want is the Axis side. Hmm. I'm on it. I think Sig that's 55. That's where we're going to put this thing? Uh, no, that's where we're going to collect the old one. Mm, Roger. Where are we going to put the new one? Uh, if you refer to the dive plan. <laughs> Which doesn't have a map on it, man. Yeah, but it uses words to say 55 meters east of the instrument platform. Mm, 55 meters east. We have a 70 meter oily. Okay. Words are overrated. Yeah. Yeah. Joshua has already complained that we're putting things too far from the IPs. So we've yeah. taken his complaint into consideration and we're only putting this 55 meters. How long is the oily? 70 meters. You just said that. Sorry. Uh, Roger. It hey. also says it in the dive plan. The oily we just laid yeah. didn't have the colored tape on it, did it? No. Why is that? We, we're busy. Okay, Roger. <laughs> we're busy, Trevor. That's why. Okay, Roger. Um... Yeah, weights the and the stuff. The color tape's helpful, but I mean, it's not that difficult finding your way down here. 
so. Test check one, two, good. Test check complete. Check. Crack two, three, four, one, scope. How were you on the surface, Dave? It was okay. Was it, did it you need verts up? A little occasionally. Okay. So it might be pretty dead on neutral sub C. That'd be nice. Yeah. What's our depth? 900 some? E 770. 770. So, AJ? Yes, sir. We have kind of three uh, possible approaches to how we start this. Yeah. One is we go to the spot where you want to put this. You throw it off the porch and hope for the best. Don't, two, love, don't love that idea. Two is you go next to a weight. We'll locate a weight. Go next to it. Grab the weight and be negative yep. for a moment. Like don't, that. Don't love that idea. Um, and the third option is put the ADCP down on the ground temporarily, right next to a weight that we find. Try to see how we can handle. If we can't do it, we grab the weight and go negative. And if we can, we place the instrument uh, first before getting the weight, and then we don't have to be negative. Walk That's the longest, but the most clean. Walk me through that one again. Step one, find weight. Let's get this one. Yep. Step two, put ADCP on ground beside weight. Yep. Step three, test to see how our buoyancy is, see if we can even stay on the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that decides whether A, we, we go forward uh, by being negative because you can't handle it. Oops. Or if we can handle it, we go place the ADCP and fly back light for 50 meters. Um, that would tell us exactly what our ballast levels are. Like it, if you can't, if you can't handle it, I mean, you're pretty confident you can't handle it though, right? Like. If you said you could handle something like a, a hundred pounds, and we're going to be eighty, eighty-eight. It's going to be close. Okay. If you put the ADCP down and you test, and you can't handle it, then we're we're going to be smart about it. We're not going to just let go and say "see ya, bottom." Yeah. We're going to plan yes. ahead and like have a weight either in our grab or near our grab. Yeah, I mean, uh, you could even just hang on or have the jaws sort of open around the loose bridle. Exactly. If we That'll float up, we catch in that. Like a, a foot or two of upward. Absolutely, yeah. Um, but do, 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 yeah, sure. Let's do that because I think it's either going to be option B or option C. Either way, we have to land this thing next to a weight. Okay. Like we're not we're not going to go straight to the deployment location because yeah, understood. We have to find we, the we weight. We have to have a weight nearby just because yep. it's it's just too dicey. Yep. Agreed. Okay. Well, we'll find. Probably this Alvin weight, which is probably a Herc weight. Yeah, rebranded. Roger. Um, yeah, seven meters away from the IP. There's also a bead bag six meters away. We can sort of lump those two together. That'll bead give bags. us. Bead bags. Oh, I understand. Yes. So, they sh yeah, we should be able to get that that going. Hey, AJ, just uh, letting you know that JB5's port J7 is powered off now. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Looks like our nav targets are different than your site layout diagram, too. So that's just a fun fact for you. The nav targets showing on our the ADCP? <laughs> showing the can, uh, CTD location and ADCP location, yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Raj, I don't know why the ADCP location would be different from the IP location. There, it's physically mounted together. Okay, they're different in this nav. It was both done in, in March 2021, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't know if one of those was maybe a temporary coordinate. Oh, you have a secret map I don't even know about over there. His map? Yeah. 
Secret. Oh, Secret. don't show that to Renny. Yeah, no. Oh. Oh, now we're done. Yeah, okay, here we go. Now we're toast. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Conflicting maps. It's over for you what guys. Do you do? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's Argus showing about 100 meters off bottom. Roger that. Roger that. Randy, I'm just going to go ahead and, and point out that that map is not to scale. Not to scale, okay. Oh. I haven't looked at it yet, so I don't know if that's a joke or... Not okay. a joke. Not a joke. Not to scale. Okay, yeah, because 70 meters, that's it's, uh, longer are, than that. These are, these are done for feel, you know? Yeah, you just go by feel. I like ONC. I like that about ONC. You just go by feel. Yeah, just feel it. You have to. You have to, because you can't be possibly. No, it can't be too calculating. No. It's not going to work out. Cool. Canyon access. <coughs> Good morning, Science Party Land. We Good are morning. descending. Yes, hello. Hello. <laughs> We're Wait, are, are we science party land? Uh, well, I think the people listening are science sorry, party land. Oh. Yeah, sorry, that out for yeah, me. Yeah, so yeah, sorry. Did we'll see that. We can be too, though. That's fine. For no, no, that's no, fine. Scratch. <laughs> 50 meter squares. We're descending to a depth of 984 meters today. And uh, Herc has been in the water for about, what, 40? No, 30 minutes? 40 minutes? Uh, yeah. Sounds right. Starting to get Less Doppler beams. Less than 39. So there you go. Answers the question that just yeah, came 66 in. 66 to go. Roger. All four beams there. I'll in. stop at 35. Okay, okay mate. Can I set you up on DVL? Yep. It's funny. I'll stop sounds a lot like all stop. Yeah, you know, that's, Ooh. that's yeah. funny that you say that because... Mean My things. first year on ONC, there you go. Um, I made that mistake with Josh Chernov. I was in charge of talking to the winch person on deck. It's my first time on nav, and he kept and he was very calm and cool. He was like, "I'll stop," and I thought he was saying, "I'll stop." Right. And then eventually, uh, he had to yell, "I'll stop, Rennie," <laughs> and we, and something happened. That was not good because of my mistake. Oops. <laughs> Don't fess up to that now, Rennie. It's okay. Well. It was 10 years ago or however yeah, long. And we're still reeling from that issue. I know, actually, probably. <laughs> not at all. Come on, give the give the guy a break. Rennie's just here to work off the damages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. Yeah. Indentured. What happened to your dentures? Oh my gosh, Trevor. <laughs> well, that was part of the incident. <laughs> Clocked in the face. Yeah. Trying to get hey. a good look at what we're hey. walking into here. We are getting there. Yep, I'm coming to an all stop right now. Coming to a I will stop. Uh, turn on my auto heading. And you're on auto out right now? Yes, Open I am. Okay. on this box. <laughs> you're on auto. <laughs> That's funny, Trevor. <laughs> it's a funny guy over there. Thanks. Okay. Rennie, let's yes. get on the, the right foot today. Good okay. morning. How good, are you? Good morning. It's great to see you. This is a very professional very, environment that we work in. Very nice to see you too. Great. We will do this the way so that it's supposed to be done. Very professional no to see talk today. about ankles. That's what we're doing. We, AJ? AJ? Don't, you're, come on. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying He's the ground testing rules. The water. This is it. Okay. No, I'm saying no talk. We have too plenty quick. of sensors on the vehicle to test the waters. Too Thank quick. you very much. Yes, we're Thank already you. testing the waters in many different ways. This is yeah. ONC. You should know that, AJ. Okay, let's continue. Roger, continuing. <laughs> we're on. We're dead reckoning right now. We're dead reckoning. So you're you're all set here. Understood. I'm uh, professionally holding heading. And you are at Delta 20, Argus is 30. I mean, you're ready, you're good to go. Let's go. That professional. Still pretty stretched out there, coming back. Do we have anything in sonar? Thank you. We got We're starting to pick up. What do we get? It'll be behind her, yeah? Oh, uh, we do not see the platform yet. No, no not we're not. Yeah, not quite okay. there yet. But we are picking up some hits here. Where am I going, Randy? Well, it's all going to be behind you. Okay, back up. Get yep. the scope. And yes, you'll fly under. 
under Argus. Argus shouldn't have to change heading. You'll just get in front of it. I okay, there's the bottom. bottom. Fish. Okay. Cordy. Um, are we doing a camera thing here first? Yep. But get sorted first. Yeah. We could uh, go get in front of Argus some more. Hi, Ed. Hey, how you doing? How about how you doing? Um, doing very well. How's your sleep? Uh, short. Hmm. Seems self-inflicted, but okay. Yeah. Kay. I'm working on other stuff. Roger. Other stuffs. Forty-eight. Let's turn around. Look forward to getting white balance and then have AJ identify all these fish for us. Roger. Oh, Oh, look at you follow that. That's a jelly? <laughs> Mr. Rennie. Yes. Am I able to use auto XY? Yes, you are. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Craft power I is on. Sable fish. Fish. Roger. Uh, okay, Mr. Ed. Yes. I believe we're getting the arm out. Yeah, I believe you are too. Do you want downlight on? Do you believe it? Uh... Let's see what the old scarred white tape looks like. Yep. How's your calibrated tape coming? Uh, we did six uh, light map run-throughs. Oh, I mean, uh, you were get working on getting some calibrated tape? Oh, yeah. You know, they went radio silent, but uh, oh, too bad. ring them up. They're in uh, Ontario, so should be up and working by the time I get off here. Okay, Ontario, so California? No. No. You're up against the... Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe you're... Don't you have a pan and tilt light, too? They're all the same color, too. We have a down light. You ready for it? Yep. Yeah, I don't know how close I'm going to be able to get for uh, it. We can maybe you can point me over that way. Yeah, I think you're going to have to. Oh, look at that. So, Ed, this is a process of calibrating the camera lighting? The uh, camera calibrating the color settings on the camera. Nice. Yep. And we do this every dive, right? We do this every dive. We're going to go ahead and black balance. It's going to take about five seconds. It's going to take the camera black. It's intentional starting now. I don't know if just these record scars. that. What? I feel like it changes the amount of time we're going to black. Good black bounce. I do. Yeah. Randy, could you zoom in a little bit? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> um, Good white bounce. We're out of here. Okay. Thank you, Ed. I'll stow this arm. Once it's Roger stowed, me. I'll ask you to come out of auto XY briefly. Okay. Okay, let me know arm when secure. you're doing it. Auto XY coming off now. Okay. I am resetting. Okay, you're good to do whatever now. You can go back if you want. Do uh, well, I guess we're flying up to the IP unless Ed needs anything else. Now we can turn off that backscatter light if you want. That would be oh, lovely. Yeah. Thanks, Confirmed. Ed. To the IP when you're ready. To the IP. Roger. Um, as far as we know, that's north of Argus. Atalanta. It could be north of Argus, too. Actually, it should be. It should yeah. be, yeah. yeah. It's so. very far north. Let's head on the left. Are Jelly. we all? Is that a, wow. is that a weight? Yeah. It's a wig. Sorry, Sorry a was, weight? Was that a weight on the seafloor that we just no, passed it was over? A jelly. I think it's a left? jelly in the water column. Yeah. No, on the bottom, on the left, on the ground. Yeah, I think that was a jelly. We can look at it. Back it up. Or a art it. We've got some... Is that from us? No, that was a fish. Yeah. So just trying to scout some weights for you. Yeah, I appreciate that, AJ. I'm 85% sure it was a jelly. Like on the bottom? On the yeah, bottom on the left, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That looks like maybe where it was. All yeah. right. Sorry, guys. It's one of those weight-stealing right, jellies. See. Continuing on. That's, I always wonder where our weights go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, jellyfish don't look that powerful, but they can actually lift a million times their body weight. Yeah. Floating well, around on the water. Don't want to be as much as a Alvin plate. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever number I needed to come up with, Ed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm working it up over here. Stand by. Thanks. Times 10 to the 12. That. Yeah. Okay, we've got something in Hercmezo. Roger. Great. Um, I'm betting that's a Could nice. be it. Could be a, anything. It's one of the things that we need. I don't know which one. 
What's We're going stick? to IP first. Yep. The, yep. the easternmost. What's this stick, AJ? Yeah. It's a stick, AJ. Yeah, it's a stick. I see it. What is it? <laughs> <I> don't know. <laughs> okay. I see. okay. It's right. not on our not to scale. Okay. Well, yeah, you seem very interested in the weight, <laughs> but not the stick. Got it. <laughs> I want to see that on the site map next year. Stick. Yeah. Nav stick. Can we use it's Rennie's, it's Rennie's pointing stick. I threw it. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> I looked over instinctively to make sure that you were lying. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. As you pass, Josh, I'm coming down a little bit on Delta. Okay. Roger. It could be to the um, your port side there Roger. or something. It's not right in front like that. All right. All right. All what do we got? Why do we have... We don't need to see every bolt. There's another think. flying weight. You got something on sonar here. How much does a crab weigh in water? 12 meters to head. What? We could use crabs. I think it would be depending on the type of crab there. That one that we just passed. <laughs> Are we just, we're, we're going off the assumption that Atalanta is not going to see, oh, there it is, a little tiny, tiny hey, little thing. Eight. All right. That's what we want. We got it. Ooh, can we go look at that? Ooh. 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 Yeah. Sorry. What, what do you want to look at? The uh, PBOF. The thing I'm looking at right now? Yeah. Hey, Rennie. Yes. Can I please see that site diagram again? Yes, you can. In fact, you can have it. Thanks. You don't want this kind of junk? Oh, well, I I junk? like seeing it. Junk? Okay. Rennie, if it's not to scale, Rennie doesn't want anything yeah, to do with it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> What's the projection on this, AJ? Exactly. You need to it's, tell uh, me the facts. Mercator. Mercator projection? Okay. There's a crab on our ADCP. Um, can oh, we yeah. take a heading here? Yeah. Raj. There's a snake in my boot. Okay. Thanks, Woody. For some reason, I need to do a DVL reset again, and Somebody it's upsetting me that this keeps happening. <laughs> Renny is upset. I'm upset. Nice one. Uh, it's hard to do a heading with the ADCP on the porch, AJ, but yeah. I mean, this is a general heading. Yeah. And well, let's come a little left, maybe. Yes. You can try to line it up with Bubble if you want. Yeah, sure. Bubble might be able to do it. Sure. You don't have to. Come that up. looks pretty good to me. It looks like you're aligning the hole in the pipe with the flange. It does seem so. pretty good. Yeah. But the camera's not square, so that'll trick you. Wait, the camera's it's not square? No, yeah. so we got it's pretty square. We got pan. Okay, right there. And All right. right there. So 301. Okay, I've got a position on the IP here. All right, so Data, did you access. catch that? 301, but I, I'd probably want to confirm position on that. I've got position yeah. here. Right, working on it. And the depth, 984. Am I still... So Josh, it looks like we're looking here uh -huh. and over the top, there's an Alvin weight seven meters that way. Yeah. Well, that might be a, a place to start. Yeah. There's also a bead bag off to this corner here Kay. at six meters. Let's go get eyes on both those things. Eyes on weights? Eyes on weights. There's a CTD monument as well. That's somewhere Thanks, Nav. Here. You can uh, get rid of that. Sure. That's the only tall thing around here. We is see the, the monument. CT monument base right there. Great. Yeah. Bead bag should just be to the right. Okay. There's a camera interface box as well. That's <coughs> maybe also a little tall, but that's 18 meters away. 18. All right, AJ. We're putting your site layout diagrams to the test here. Yeah. Don't worry. These are meticulously kept. Um. So where? Is that a way? Are we p putting this new ADCP and... We're going to put it 55 meters east of the IP. Down. Okay. East. Yeah, but we're looking for weights. Okay, Roger. I see a bead bag. It's, it looks like it's underneath the cable there. Yeah, it's we're Dude, keeping it safe. Center. What's that? Oh, it's part of the cable. The Alvin weight should be closer to that cable on the right. The Aquadop cable. cable. Is that in fact a bead bag? Or am yeah, I no, it is. Okay. Cool. Bead bag located. Do we want to go get it? Uh, the beat bag's yeah. going to be heavier than the Alvin weight now. How is your... That's a good question. How is your... I'm floating up just a touch. Okay. Do you think you'd be sinky if you grabbed it? Yeah, or neutral, but not, not, you know, the other one. Not more buoyant? Yeah. If you take the heavy not, thing? Not buoyant at all. Okay. Hmm. Would I be neutral or, or sinky? I think that, yeah, we can probably get away with grabbing it then, eh? And yeah, those are yes. technical terms, folks. Sinky. Sinky so floaty. Let's uh, find that Alvin weight first just to put eyes on it. Okay, you where should be right on top here? of it. 
Right on top of it. On top of what? An Alvin Wait. A uh, oh, Herc I should weight. be right on top of it. Yeah. Might be kind of buried. Okay, yeah, do not see. What's this by the cable? Is that a thing? You want to telestrate? Did you telestrate that? I'm on it. Okay. Um, I don't think Maybe that's just a thing. sediment? Maybe, yeah. It says it's 700. Sorry. Wow. Start again, Trev. It says it's seven meters away from the platform. Yeah, that was just done. It was done as a goof. It was done as a goof, uh, yeah. It's also s farther away than the bead bag. Again, according to site layout. Okay, well, yeah. let's go over here then. They were done visually, which means that it was kind of a guess from when the Ooh, that could be it. ROV was at the IP. the right, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. That's an awkward op. And pointing at the screen as though that helps, like, That's it could be there on the screen. Well, you're not, you're not going to be wrong. Get Rennie's yeah. pointing stick. I am yeah. wrong. It was not, uh, it was not that. Uh, this is... The Aquadop should be 10 meters away, yeah, so... Yeah, agreed. So it's not... doesn't exist. Where do you... Where am I going? Where do you want me to look? We can... Well, you think the bee bag's enough? It's enough to help us survive to be able to find more later. Okay. So let's go get it. Okay. And Josh, if we're too sinky, we'll just ditch it. Roger. We can also go to the three weights, one bead bag. Yeah, well, let's do that uh, after we place the ADCP. Okay. I'd be shocked. Shocked, I tell you, if this bead bag does not have enough ballast to keep us down after we drop this ADCP. Well, you heard it here first. Shocked, I tell you. Oh, the cable's on the bead bag. Yeah, and a starfish. What are we going to do about that? Mm -hmm. I could ask him first. I think it's a sea star. Not Thank a fish you. at all. Correct. How much does that weigh in water? 18 grams. All right, I'll add it to the ballast spreadsheet. Carry the two. Yeah, that should be fine. That's going to make you a little bit more sinky if you don't remove that sea star. Yeah, that's right. Uh-oh. Oh, are we sitting down? Oh, look at that. We are. Possibly. Let me know when you're ready. Ready? You want me to rock my camera out or? Yeah, nah. I got it in buble. Roger. It looks like there's an eel. Rennie, could you pull up a time or a um, coordinate for this? Yes. For the bead bag, that will be no more. Yeah, we're just verifying, and then okay, uh, well, it's getting awesome. moved somewhere probably. Mm -hmm. uh, AJ, next step. Well, Trevor, next step. What? We're going to see if the vehicle uh, can float or can operate. And if it can, we're going to go to... Vehicle is still... Yep. Floating. I'm... Okay. Okay. It's, it's... It's not not moving. It's not not moving. So... Where are we at? Where are we headed? All right, yeah, we're so we're going to go put this 55 meters east of the IP. Okay, let me just do east, huh? Yeah, somewhere in that direction. I think it's I think it's wide open that way. Here comes a mess. I'm going to put the lightest looking target that you won't be able to see. That's good, yeah. because that's what this program does. Nice. Oh yeah, that's, that's where you're going. It's, it's one perfect. pixel by one pixel. That's good. Let me do the same over here. Are we going to need a ship move to get over there? Uh, yes. Heck yeah, AJ. Let's do 25. That'll split the difference, right? 30. Yeah, we're going to be coming back and forth. Oh, OK. Maybe 25. Tilt doesn't work when you turn it off. I'll get the 6 8 wraps. Bridge nav. That's, that's all set. 
Good morning. Can we step three zero meters bearing zero seven zero? Thank you. How'd you do that, Trevor? This button. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm coming up on Delta. Hauling in. Roger. I'll pay out once you get a little more ahead. This is literally as neutral as this vehicle gets. Perfect. <coughs> Great math, mathematics before well, the dive there, Trevor. Clearly wrong because, well, what do you think these bags weigh in water? Uh, I'd have to pull it up. Stand by. Standing. I think we're 12, the math says 12 point. So if this is more than 12, then that's how our offset. Math offsets. Sense. Yeah. I'm going to turn off some Atalanta lights. See if we can get something useful out of it. One more. Ooh. Ooh. It's not very, In silhouette. very clear. It's kind of ghoulish. It has a ghoulie feel. It has a ghoulie feel to it. What about the rest of the team? Can't just talk about the ghoulie. What? Okay. I like that. Thumbs up. <laughs> Took Josh a minute, but he came I'm around. Still, I still don't understand it, but I like it. Too many syllables. <laughs> 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 what do you, who's you, who do you think you are, Jake? <laughs> Listening to all those syllables, form, forming words out of them. <laughs> Coming down and down. The bar's really low <laughs> for perfection. So Trevor, so Rennie, you see this DVL offset immediately. See this DC ground fault. Uh, oh, 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 hello. I gotta, uh, you do that first. Secure, secure craft some stuff. power. What's gonna happen to the arm? Nothing. I don't know. What's it gonna? Let's just uh, find out. Okay. Oh. It's gonna drop that. Yep. Mm. Is it gonna let go of it? I yep. would assume so. It's gonna have a light grip on it. But we're not. We don't need it yet. This is for the future. No, we just have to solve I, this. It'd be nice to mark. Yeah. So, yeah, please drop a thing there. Well, that's... 23K. Instantly. What else do we do? Is 20, it dropped? 23K is fine. Let's is it indeed it. dropped? Uh, unknown. Okay. Still got it. Still got it. All right. So I'm just Box. gonna give the grandpa another minute. Here. Okay, Roger. <coughs> so, <coughs> what? What? Oh yeah, there it is. It's going green again. Yeah. So that's uh, hard ground on the craft. So we don't really need that on this dive. Mm. So we cannot operate with that hard ground. It was 2k. I'm asking. Yeah. I don't know enough about the system. Um, I'm not recommending we do, I just, I'm saying we should decide because... Can you walk me through HA high level dive plan? We gotta uh, place the ADCP, we gotta yep. connect to the oilies, we've got to... Yeah, so place the ADCP, go back to the IP, take off the old ADCP, disconnect the oily, pull the pins to free all the oily that's on the west side of the platform, Kay. lay that cable to the east, plug in the new ADCP, and then we're doing some coral cliff video transects. And some larval traps, okay. How much? Oh yeah, and the larval traps and the push cores. Let me try something here. Yeah, you go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna drop this, and then I would like you to come up in the water column Roger. three to five meters. Okay. <coughs> Waiting on comms. How do you know it was a craft? Because uh, of the size of it? Discovered it the other day. Uh oh. I'm coming Recently. up on Delta just a little bit. And then I'm um, going to drop this. Okay, you happy here, Rennie? If I drop it here? Yep, drop. Go ahead. Go to target there. Okay, cut these come up in a water column. Coming up. 
I got that target too, Rennie. Roger. Five to ten, Trevor? Three to five is fine. Roger. Okay, holding at five. Okay. Because I can't see that connector on the back guy. No. Can I turn the down lights on? I can, can you pull up. up the alarms page, please? You're yes. good, Ed. You got a zero okay. ohm ground fault alarms coming up. Roger. Still getting them? Stand by zero nine seconds ago. Okay. Zero seconds I'm going to stow the craft. Yeah. yeah. This Roger. is uh, not operable. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. Uh, let's uh, secure the craft power. Uh, craft power is secure. Uh, we're not plugging in with the. No, with the we can stuff. ditch this though. Okay, yeah, you can take that off the porch. Yeah, and then come up. So AJ, we're gonna have to ditch this uh, ADCP, or we we can ditch this ADCP. Just put it dump somewhere, and yep. we have to recover. Okay, can we put it at the original target, 55 meters? That's fine. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, coming down. Atlanta's still coming over, but you might have the leash regardless. Okay. So. You got that bead bag marked? I don't think we're going to need it, but... I do have it marked. Great, thank you. It does make the next dive easier because we come down with ditch weights. Yes. And for folks watching at home, yes, those are sablefish. Sablefish have a, a number of other names. So they're also known as black cod or butterfish or sablefish or... There's even a few other names as well. Hey, Common names. Again. Roger. You should see a red cross coming up here. Yeah, on the ground there. Yeah. Roger, yeah. Keep an eye out that for it. That would be pretty is slick. That, is that that stick? Right yeah, there? that would be great. Yeah. Let's do some nav magic. No, 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 we're ignoring the sticks. Remember? Oh, yeah, right. Augmented reality. Shift a bit to your north, so go to your port Lord, a little yeah. bit, yeah. Um, it's because I'm trying to split the difference. I'm, I'm kind of unsure about this USBL DVL offset that me and... You want to be actually a little north of the mark, you mean? I think so. Then we'll split okay. the difference and we'll... I don't know I also know think why it is not this. at all critical that we're exactly east. I think this is just oh, okay. selected as like a generally empty area. Well, then it's CDC definitely going to be... The range is going to be fine. Yeah, so let's just go. So we're done? Okay, yeah, yeah, you're good here. Okay, you, when you're down. ready, Josh, please sit down. I'm going to take down, Trevor. I'm going to take the hole. Oh, he's a funny guy. Wow. <laughs> so comedic. You just... We put the funny in in post. <laughs> the, la the laugh track. No jokes. Funny is in post, please. I'm going to reset you to the USBL. Roger. Uh, okay, yeah, Trevor. I don't know what's going on there. Just fall down and just sit near. Okay, let's see if we can uh, do this. Okay. That'd be neat. What do you got it by? Magnum. Want some downlights? Uh, yeah, well, the, I know the Magnum, but I mean, what do you... <laughs> I think you can be less full down. There's a less full down, right? grab yeah. handle there. Just a little bit. You can see it in bubble. Stand by. Oh. Okay, that's 50%. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, torque. You can always use the box, oh the yeah. toolbox push. Oh, we got She's her. Coming. Oh, the box, yeah, the, the porch push. The old porch push. Yeah. Look at that thing, strong. Strong like blue. Mm-hmm. Lauren and liked Dexter's that one, too. for the record. Recorded. I can porch in. Lauren, yeah, do it. Lauren, please don't encourage Josh. I wasn't. I. That's why I was muted. Thank you. <laughs> it yeah, was only hear, because I of can, AJ. I can hear you giggling from five feet away still. <laughs> <laughs> Not that far. Okay. Uh, I was trying to be quiet. You might need downs here. now. We'll see. Okay, uh, Roger. And let go. So ADCP is deployed. No, I got 50% down. I'm still down. Okay. Good. I'm going to stow this magnum, and then we will come up. Roger. Okay, let me get a target here. 
We'll do orientation later. Yeah. How long is the oily that we're plugging in? 70 meters. Seven zero. So that's plenty. And just for Both arms secure. For the record, we got uh, the ADCP is our acoustic Doppler current profiler. That's correct. Yeah. So is we're going to be. Everybody happy to come off bottom? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Coming off bottom. Uh, which way does somebody have to spin? Me. You. To port. Okay. Well, we're not rocketing up, so we're not terribly light. No, I think, yeah, this is... Treacherously light. Okay. A whole bunch of complaining about nothing. That's not good. Words to... So, to confuse you. Did you know? Because <laughs> I know them. Should they sound like Trevor? Trevorous. All right, Trevor. coming up at 30... Okay. <coughs> Neat. Let's see. Well, that's a good one. Yeah, that's super neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what is the process of figuring that out when you get on deck? Trial, error. Yeah. Wake Dana. <laughs> What's the. Uh, Wake so, Dana. <laughs> how do you. I mean, you're not in water, so how do you identify how it. If it's faulting. Good question, Randy. Yeah. Uh, a, a hose. Yeah, a hose is a good way to do it. If it's zero, yeah. probably see it with just with a hose Got it. running over it. Yeah, because that's like very hard. Yeah. As hard as it gets. That is not good. Okay. No, that's and that's enough of yeah. talking like that. Roger. I'm going to switch you back over to USBL. Roger. We're having breakfast? Okay, you're back on USBL. Roger. Let me log off bottom here. Trying to come faster for you, Trevor. Uh, oh. Okay, well then I won't go faster. So just as we're ascending, uh, I'll take the opportunity to explain a little bit about uh, what we're going to achieve when we get back in the water. So we're at the Barclay Axis site. Uh, it's at a depth of 984 meters. And this is one of the nodes that's part of the Ocean Networks Canada 
infrastructure, the Neptune Observatory. And at this site, we are going to do some sampling, some larval tube traps. Uh, we also plan to do a transect of the coral cliffs, so a video survey. And I was talking to our, our lead scientist on the ship here, um, our senior staff scientist, Fabio De Leo. And the video transect is actually going to be used by a number of collaborating researchers and gives us an idea of the diversity and biomass in the area. So it's going to be pretty neat. Um, we're also going to do some push core samples. Um, and some instrumentation swap outs. So these are acoustic Doppler current profilers. And um, this site is a really neat area. It's a canyon. It's kind of a hot spot of biodiversity. Um, we get all sorts of amazing sounds, hydrophone recordings from this area. Um, lots for you to check out at oceannetworks.ca and then also on our YouTube channel where we kind of curate some of the, the hydrophone clips and stuff as well. So there you go. We will be sure to send out a message over social media when we dive again. So you don't need to miss us for too long. And just for the record, I'm going to stay in this seat right until we um, recover because we saw dolphins on the way down. So there's a chance we could see dolphins on the way back up. Definitely. I would kind keep your eyes on the Argus cam or Atalanta, Atalanta cam. Were they dolphins or dolls porpoise? I think they were They're dolphins. I think they oh. were the Pacific white sided. Oh, cool. According yeah. to staff scientist Fabio De Leo. Oh, well, I'll go with Fabio's. Uh, uh, I would go with Fabio's. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they do have white sides confirmed. I saw. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> check mark. Check mark. The name so is logical. Yeah. If that's one of the criteria, <laughs> then confirmed. They were playing around in the water, doing all sorts of swoops. Did you see them do a flip? No. Did you see them do a flip? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, AJ. Tease. So, um, Ed, that satellite feed two is Atalanta? Uh, yep. Okay. Atalanta's primary camera is on satellite feed two right now. Put us on uh, feed three, which should be over here. One call. Boop. They're just so happy, the dolphins. You know? They just seem to like jump out of the water for no particular reason. They like, seem to be playing, yeah. Yeah, like walking down the heat, the street and clicking your heels just because you can. It's a good way to live. But doesn't playing look the same as being chased by orcas? Uh, uh, perhaps. Sure. Yeah, maybe. But you, you'd see the fear in their eyes. Less urgency. <laughs> We must be just about 40 to 60 miles offshore, maybe. Oh, miles? Anybody I don't know? do miles, sorry. But I could convert. Um, Barkley is, let me, let me get a, actually, where's, where's Rennie? Rennie's busy. Rennie's yeah. busy, that's fair. That's allowed. We're yep. right at this shelf, aren't we? 
Yes. Okay. Well, like at, at uh, like a canyon. Yeah. At Barkley Canyon. Yep. Yeah. I don't know how deep the canyon goes, though. Well, we know here was 980 or something like that. In Depth, meters. but what about uh, what about offshore? Offshore? Yeah, how far offshore? Yeah, I don't know about that. And this would be offshore from the traditional territory of the the Nechalnoth people. So the Nechalnoth Tribal Council in incorporates or includes 14 different nations. So I'm grateful to be in these traditional territories. Did I hear a question back there? Yeah, we're just wondering how far offshore we are at this exact moment. Oh, man. <laughs> can I see if I can do that? Well, within 50 miles. Yeah. Here comes a, yep. Can you zoom out a little faster? No, as fast as I can go. Roger that. All right, now I gotta pick what, well, no, sure. the okay. circle will help me. Any piece of The circle place. will help me. But do we want this in nautical miles, probably? Yep. Oh, sure. Cables. Thanks, Rennie. The circle has helped me. The circle of life. Uh, 42 nautical miles. Oh. All right. Off of uh, Barkley Sound. The land surrounding Barkley Sound. Excellent. <laughs> the sound is still water. I recognize that. Right on. <laughs> Thank you, Rennie. Sure. Um, and the... ETA for our next uh, dive mm -hmm. is um, as soon as we TBD. have the vehicle serviced. That's yes. right. TBD craft dependent. Yes. ROV TBD. TBD. TBD, TBD. TBD. Sarah from Shore says uh, the Barkley Canyon isn't actually, uh, you know, offshore. Okay. It's okay. It's a shelf break canyon. Oh, cool! So it extends inwards into the shelf. Thank you very much. Yeah. To our, th is this uh, data on land from ONC? Sure is. Thank you. Data on land. So really, it, it takes a whole bunch of us to do all this kind of work. Pretty cool. Bounce dive. <clears throat> yeah. It's a little preemptive in the joking early on. I feel bad for that, AJ. Sorry about that. Now that yeah, I can't. I yeah. can't restart. It's just no. it's not right. Doesn't feel <laughs> somber yeah, energy guys. here. Yeah, that's unacceptable. Yeah, you have to wait till the craft arm lifts at least four bead bags before the jokes. I can think start. that that's a good rule. Yeah. Well, yeah. is there four down there? I don't think so. There will be. You can lift one four on times. Next dive. There's going to be four bead bags in the next dive. Oh well, yeah, because we have to send it down with drop weight. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. They've got Doug out back, chuck them over the side as we speak. 
So it's been done. Remember that wooden crate? <laughs> Were you yeah. ready for that? Yeah. I, don't know. I was there. I pulled bags out of it plenty of times. I yeah. wasn't on the deployment though. The Indiana Jones <laughs> deployment method. Wrapped on scheduled service deployment. We had a bead bag joke that was really good. Bag piling. Bag piling. Yeah, that's you what remembered it. Was. it bag oh, piling. Wow. I, wow. I remember it because I was angry because it was so funny. But it was, was very funny. I had to be serious, and I looked over at Trevor. Go ahead, Bridge. Bag piling, yeah. Bag piling, yeah, that was a good one. It was about, uh, I said you should, Trevor was bag piling, and I said you should hear him play uh, Amazing, Amazing Grace. Grace yeah. No, yeah, and I looked at you and I was angry with but you. But I'm bummed too. Because it was so funny. Yep. That yeah. was That's because we're, <laughs> no, I don't have a reason. Um, it's amazing that you guys remember these jokes from years that was, ago. That was like eight years ago. <laughs> Seven, six, six, six years, years ago. ago. Yeah. yeah. Six years ago. I remember it very clearly. You wrote it. Okay. You kind of know a lot about this, actually. Too much? A little too much. So, last year, uh, I have this old car, and I started it in my underground, and it burns a lot of oil if you don't run it for a few months, so mm. a lot of sm smoky oil, oil smoke, and I just drove it out of the underground and went on my way, drove it for half an hour, and clears the engine, it's fine. I came back, and there was four fire trucks oh. outside my apartment building. And everybody in the apartment building was outside the apartment building because it was a, you know, can't, you have to vacate. And um, so that was a worse day than this. If anybody. Okay. Like Not for you. Yeah, it sounds like you got out of that you one. Drive. Uh, yeah, except for everybody in my apartment building, 27 times 8 units, uh, hates me. Oh, they know. Well, they you know. They know you could have just showed up and been like, oh, what? I just got here. I, I did. just got here. I did. I almost drove away. But I was like, I should probably tell the fire department. Well, you didn't want to turn the car back on. It would have been a giveaway. No, yeah. no. The car was clear by then. It was fine. But yeah. I had to tell there the you firefighters. Go. You burned all the evidence. People saw me talking to the firefighters. Then I left. So what's the solution? Put a bag over your I'm exhaust. I'm just trying to say... There's no. bad taste. Yeah, put a potato on the pipe. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> curious. Like, what, how, does this happen every time you run your car now? The fire department no, no, gets no, called? No, no, no. You didn't listen. It's only <laughs> when I don't run the car for many months. So just so run it every month. So you're running it more frequently. That's Correct. the solution. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there I are wasn't so looking for a solution. I was just trying to... <laughs> no, I just know, but I'm regaling curious regaling us now. in your life? Well, just trying to say... If you, if you tell stories often and people respond to them with solutions, you should think about... <laughs> Your actions. Immediately, like, like, what's the solution? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if people are constantly giving you solutions <laughs> and you don't realize that you're, there are problems, you might have problems. <laughs> Josh is just telling this story like, yeah, and all those suckers in the apartment building. Yeah. Oh, We're like, okay, Josh. well, what could you do differently, Josh? Josh, let's learn from this. I don't want to do anything differently. I love my life. <laughs> How do we learn from this? Yeah. It's supposed um, to be a learning story. <laughs> <laughs> All stories are learning stories, Josh. A little bit. Well, I feel better. <laughs> How about a change of topic? Sure. All right. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if it's going to be better. Do you want to tell us <laughs> how you're going to service the ROV? How, how are we going to troubleshoot this uh, this issue that we're having? Yeah, it's a great question, Josh. Folks out there want to know. It is a great question. Wait, if they only knew. <coughs> I said, great answer. What, what's that? If they only knew. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to know. So, we believe that there is some water ingress into... Uh, electrical connection in the manipulator somewhere. Now, there are multiple electrical connections I on turned the it manipulator. On. Roger. So, we have to diagnose which connection it is most likely to be. Now, we have an idea based on past experience, and we're going to try the most likely thing first um, and service some connectors. Hopefully, that makes it go away. If not, we'll have to dive deeper into the arm. These arms are not uncomplicated devices, uh, especially the craft predator. Um, they're very intricate, uh, expensive. Um, so 266K. 
What's 266K? That's how much uh, they... That's the ground fault that we're getting on the, oh. on the manipulator right now is 269 kilo ohms. Kilo ohms. Which is acceptable, so we're thinking. Stand by. Could be pressure related. I don't know what to do right now. <sighs> but rest assured, folks, Herc will dive again. Correct. Got the best team on it. Yeah, actually, before I came out, I didn't really realize that the ROV pilots were also the mechanics yeah, of the yeah, ROV. <laughs> it's actually pretty impressive. I'm surprised they don't call themselves ROV mechanics. ROV mechanics. They do more of that than they do I know. flying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a bigger part of their job. All pause. I'm getting excited. We're getting closer to maybe seeing dolphins in the screen. We're taking a little pause to do some troubleshooting, get, gather some data at this point. A little craft exercise. Right, doing our craft yoga on the way up. Yeah, <laughs> gotta keep limber. And I think you'll be able to watch the ROV pilots do some maintenance. Okay. That was at least consistent. So we should be able to replicate that at 75 meters on launch then, right? Good. Yep. Coming back up. <clears throat> it's not anything more than zero. It's not nothing more than zero. Nothing less, nothing less than zero, but greater consequence than, more than. You can't go negative. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it doesn't get any more red and it probably should, or flash. That red light outside yeah. the laundry room turns on. Yeah. I was wondering when that fired up. Okay, I'm going to stream forward. Bridge nav. We'd like to track a line forward at the ship's current heading 0 0.3 knots. Thank you. With the sea state coming down, guys, seriously, is this something after you service it, you could just crane it in and dunk test? Hmm. I hear him. You're not SPL? listening as SPL. Yeah, that's it. Stand by. He's... Yes, we do. We do indeed have a saltwater hose. It's currently not hooked up. There's the fresh water that has two hoses hooked to it. So you're going to move one of those to the one to the right, I think, is saltwater. I believe. But it, uh, hopefully it's labeled. Because...
Roger. Port side ship, starboard side ROV. <clears throat> That's where we are. We're going, we're trying to be slightly port of the ship. Yeah, thanks for coming back on because I'm just talking to myself over here. Why? <laughs> just why? <laughs> just like a child. <laughs> why? Why? How come? How come? How come? Yeah. Yeah, he just. <laughs> hmm. 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 Hey, ROV, how do you measure your ground fault? Is we have a, a bender. Okay. We have two. We have one for AC circuits and one for DC circuits. Right. <laughs> That's what we use yeah. in the shop, like an isometer or something like that. It's called. That's uh, sounds right. Do you want to tell yeah. us about that, Jeff? Yeah. Unless Josh wants to do a commercial for a D-Tech. Right. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. That's why we're, I'm ignoring you. So we, yeah. uh, before we deploy instruments, we also do an isolation test at the shop where we'll put them in a saltwater test tank and we'll connect one electrode of the isolation tester into the water of the tank and the other electrode will connect to the power lines of the instrument. And we're looking for an electrical connection through the water, through the body of the instrument to the power lines. And that would suggest there's an isolation fault issue. Some part of the circuitry is in contact with the housing. And that's something you want to avoid. So your dunk tank is salt water? Yeah, we've, got a, yeah, we've got a small tank indoors for things like CTDs and small instruments. And then our Big tank. Th three meter tank is salt water outside. Huh. It was so, fresh water until they spilled all the salt in it. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> they had the uh, mishap with the rock salt. Right. I thought they just had a co-op running down uh, to Pat Bay and getting buckets <laughs> coming them back up and filling it. I think they did do that with a water truck once. Water uh, transportation engineer co-op. Yeah. Since then, we do uh, tap water and add, I think, Instant Ocean. <laughs> right. There's really a product called Instant Ocean. Just add water. Just add water. Yeah. Of course. It's like most of it, though. That's most of it. <laughs> I don't know how much it costs to fill that tank. I've never asked. Probably a lot. Yeah. How much? Yeah, how much salt? Yeah, we had a delivery of road salt once, and that's uh, not a very clean way to go. <laughs> but probably a lot cheaper than Instant Ocean. A lot cheaper, I think. Yeah. yeah. And if you can get like comparable salinity. Yeah. yeah, thirty-three psu or what is it? 35, something like that. PSU. Practical salinity units. Practical. <laughs> <laughs> oh. These are practically salinity units. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's not salt. That's <laughs> 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 these get it at the store. <laughs> practically salinity units. <laughs> it's almost there. <laughs> salt product. Salt product. <laughs> That's so good. It's all good. <laughs> yes, work right. at ONC is very serious. As you can tell. Yeah. Oh we man. never like to have fun. You can actually get instant ocean in 200 gallon <laughs> container. And yeah. ordering on Amazon right now. On, yeah, right now. What's your postal? For your home uh, <laughs> aquarium. You are What's actually on the Instant Ocean website. V shipping on that. V8L 5J6. <laughs> and just let my landlord know it's coming. <laughs> All right. Comes minimum, tanker. minimum quantity 10, right? Get those ordered. So you got 2,000 pounds of Instant Ocean headed your way. <laughs> Everything's coming. Oh. Going to have to buy it in Everett, Washington at Petco. Are you in the Prius, or did you bring the truck? <laughs> We're going to have to do it in two goes. We're doing it live. So much to learn about, right? <laughs> I thought we were getting the uh, tank, test tank outside covered. Is that still happening? 
uh, at MTC? Yeah. Yeah. It has a cover, I found. It has a yeah. cover? It's had a but number like of generations of covers. All right. Yeah. Like, but inside, like, is it going to be housed inside? Oh, no, I see. the expansion, yeah. that's not going ahead. That's not going ahead. No. You're going to expand that building? Expand yeah, the there was an idea to expand the building oh. to mm -hmm. cover the tank so that... You're not out there in the rain it testing would be stuff? Outside. Yeah, we'd be... Does that affect your salinity? The rain yeah. does, yeah. 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 The tank is circulated, but I, I think it stratifies. Yeah. So there's a rain salt and it balances out. Wait, you have halo clines inside your test tank? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. Huh. You need like a giant stirrer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching now from across the room. Is that an oar? Right. Practical sailing. <laughs> it's a real thing, right? <laughs> Practically sailing. <laughs> We need some of that to test the craft out. Yeah, I'll see. Apply topically. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Why aren't all units just practical, practical, practical length units, generic units? Ch yeah, not like mile. your no-name brand units. They're a bit cheaper. Yeah. No one can agree. That's why. That's like a mile silly. versus a nautical mile. It's almost no frills, assault. No. <laughs> 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 no name brand salt. <laughs> I'll go faster. You now. might end up with a batch without sodium in it. You never know. Right. It's a small batch. Though. Morton, so do I look like I'm made of money? <laughs> <laughs> sodium and chloride. <laughs> <laughs> I can only afford one. <laughs> this one's just chloride. Oh. <laughs> well, I've got sodium and I've got chloride. <laughs> That's how you get into the salt making business. <laughs> salt making. Yeah. Boys. Yeah. <laughs> Practically salt when I have these two things. <laughs> that will. Yeah. <laughs> Ed had to take himself off SPL. <laughs> <laughs> laughing too hard. That would have made that line a lot funnier. <laughs> Instant Ocean, never knew. <laughs> what? How does that end? Also, never understand why if you go to the store and they sell, like, it's kind of this, my dad would say, hoity-toity sea salt. Yeah. It has an expiration date. Yeah. <laughs> I've been on the planet for millennia. Yeah. <laughs> Expires in June. <laughs> Well, uh, it, it probably, they, they can't, like, prevent it from clumping and stuff, so then you get inferior hoity-toity uh, salt. It's uh, the experience right. that expires. Yeah. And then I remember <laughs> your your remarks on freshly ground salt, right? Right. <laughs> freshly ground pepper and salt. <laughs> freshly ground. <laughs> so, if anyone out there is actually listening to us, please feel free to send in your questions feel free to stop. and divert us from non this topic. Non-sodium questions now being accepted. Yeah, we're busy talking about salt expiration dates over here. It is quite an engaging yeah. topic, so... It's a long cruise. We've got a long way to go. <laughs> yeah. I understand if... But if salt is a preservative, how do you preserve salt? Plastic. Sugar. Ice. You just add more salt. Makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. Mm. The old household cryogenic freezer. <laughs> Just like Grandma used to freeze. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> Boy, this brings me back. Practically childhood. <laughs> Are we in dolphin territory yet? Yeah. Oh, please. 129 meters. How deep can a dolphin dive? I Probably suppose deeper than that. No, I it think depends on the type of dolphin. How deep can a Pacific white-sided dolphin dive? Nice, we're narrowing it down here. I would ask Google. Now oh, here, I can have our viewers tell us. Alexa, how deep can a dolphin dive? <laughs> well, somebody's finding out right now. <laughs> Please write in what you find out. Did Alexa come up with anything? Well. At somebody's house. We'll find I'll out in the comments Siri. very soon. One of our viewers. I don't think Alexa hey is even watching. How deep do Pacific white sided dolphin dive? Now we've got everybody's <laughs> smart devices going off. All right. According to Noah. The Ark? <laughs> no. 
Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Did they put dolphins on the ark? Had to. They would have Two had to. Flopping around in the bottom there. The bilge um, is pretty full, so. They were ark adjacent. Oh. Ark adjacent? <laughs> is that tangent? <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. This is what you've been waiting for. The Pacific white-sided dolphin. It is uh, protected throughout its range in terms of Any meters. status. Okay. Heading over in 15. Its lifespan is 36 to 40 years. Wow. 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 5.5 to 8 feet. They weigh 300 to 400 pounds. Thanks. That's heavy for 5.5 feet. Dense. Yeah. You Dense. Know. Muscle. Um, and Buoyant in water. Buoyant. Ooh. They play the ballast game. They have 23 to 36 pairs of teeth, and the, each adult eats about 30, sorry, 20 pounds of food every day. Roger. Still have not. Okay, Renny, I'm all stop seven five. Roger. Deck control. <coughs> Dive depth is not listed on this website. All stop seven five meters. Ooh, someone's got a radio on in here. That might be me. Yeah, that's me. Roger. Is Charlie on board? Who? Charlie. It's a new one. Yep. Atlanta cameras up and lights are secure. Rog. There's a great question in here, but I think you might be concentrating. Let me yeah, know when you yeah. yeah. Till we're on deck. Kay. Now, <clears throat> Trevor, I think that that could be our offset uh, right there, the Atlanta compass. It doesn't look like it's right in the nav GUI. It that's doesn't look like I mean. it's the same as here. Well, that's not good. Can you Do you have a digital readout on the ROV nav software? No. Just graphical? Um, yeah. Full, full wide. Yeah, no, I don't have that. Are you camera wrecked in? Uh, now I gotta figure that out. Well, now it looks kind of correct. Thanks. Still yeah, a bit I off. Agreed. Though. It might be delayed, too. Anyway, I can't change heading right now. Strange. Gotta talk to Tim about that. I'm gonna fire the launch recovery video salvo. We need it. Don't fire. I'm going to lay off the yeah. video salvo. Thank you. Okay, so the plan is we're going to continue streaming, and at the surface, uh, we could hold position, or we could continue streaming. What do you want to do? We'll see how well it's holding. Yes, we'll decide at the surface. So you hit that salvo? Yes. Huh. Is that okay? Yeah, I just don't have an indicator that I got fired. Maybe I'm in a goofy mode here. Um, I'm gonna hit it again. I'm gonna let Deck know that they should sure. report Hercules' uh, position because I don't think we're gonna be able to see it very well. Deck control. For Deck. Just letting you know, we have uh, quite a glare on the camera, so if you could report Hercules' position, that would be great once it surfaces. Roger, will do. Apparently, uh, hands in pockets are mandatory for this recovery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They went out there and said, we're going to look cool. Got the recovery gloves on? Yeah. Small Dolphins in Dolphin. camera. Dolphins. That is so rad. <coughs> Why don't they check out Herc? Everybody back at home was not seeing them. We are in <coughs> the second camera. Channel 2. Channel 2, occasional dolphin. I guess Herc's just too loud. I don't want to be near it. No.
dolphins. Mm, there's there's dolphins. dolphins. Whoa. Oh, oh that's so wow. Cool. Sweet. Wow. That's Getting incredible. And what was the type you said they were? Pacific, Pacific white, white sided. sided. They're so cool looking. Yeah. They're just on this side of Atalanta. They're not behind. Oh my goodness. It. Mm. It's wild. They know they're on TV. Yeah. Oh yeah. <coughs> Is there like lights you have on that it would be? No lights are also here. Oh. They've just been hanging out. Herc lights are on. I could turn them off. You don't probably need them anymore. Maybe they don't like the, the yeah, those can tether. Go off. The tether? Maybe they don't like the tether. Yeah, that could be it. They're inspecting the uh, daisy chain job. Yeah. <coughs> Anybody speak dolphin? Ooh. Uh, are you here if I turn off the mezzos? Yeah. Securing mezzos now. <coughs> oh, buzz the tower there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I think there's like six or seven of them. Maybe oh, at more? least. Yeah, I think Dozen. there's more. Decent sized pod. It's extremely distracting. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Looking at that instead of what I should be looking at. All right. 15 meters from surface. I've seen the doll's porpoise way more than I've seen these guys out here. I don't think I've seen a doll's porpoise before. There's more of them. There's more. So what do we pick them up at, like 30 meters? Yeah, or so. Yeah. Do we ever figure out how deep they can dive? Starting to lose no. USBL. Someone right, we'll do it. Roger. We <coughs> yeah. Someone wrote in about bottlenose. Um, but we do not have info on the Pacific White Side. We don't depth. see them on the surface. What do you what do you mean? We, that we don't see them on the uh, surface? I haven't. Oh, I was watching them Roger, this morning yeah, at breakfast. Don't look at that. Oh, pulls up. Van deck, I have eyes on Hercules. You guys are coming up just to starboard of center line. Copy. Looks like just a port of center line. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To, to aft starboard. <coughs> ROV starboard. Yeah, ROV starboard. Roger. We'll continue as is until Island is on deck and then <coughs> decide on next moves. Hercules is center line. Copy. And I, we will answer the question about uh, ROV retrieval in a little bit here. Deck, can you have a uh, Herc drive? Never mind, hold there. That should be fine. Roger. Couple of big ones. There's a big one there.
Okay, now that we're strapped down, do you want to hold position to stop tugging back there? Okay. Bridge, nav. Hold position. Thank you. I think that'll give you enough lee leeway. Yeah, Raj. You ready? Would you mind centering up Baro yeah. Nav? Yeah. Just watch the watch the ship's movement. Thank you. It looks like it'll come back maybe a couple meters, three <coughs> meters back. Okay. On DP, that'll be right here, in case you ever want to know. Thank you. Josh, you, are you going to want to do your own bypass, or you want me to help you? Great. Once you're under the crane, I'll kill it. <clears throat> Daisy's starting to go. Looks, I think it's Dave on Daisy, so it's an unknown da Daisy time. Yeah, a little loosey goosey. Is this a good time to ask a quick question? Driver, Roger. No. About this process? No? Not right now. Okay. Sorry. Should ship should be stabilizing there, so did go back a few meters. I don't think we'll need any <coughs> steps or anything. Ship moves, I think you should be able to get over there. Okay. Yeah, Raj. Wind is acting funny. The wind sensor is acting funny. Yeah, I saw that this morning, like 4 a.m. Started doing um, laps. Yeah. 60 knots. Yeah, I saw <coughs> something similar to that. Talk to Justin about that. Let's see how the ship reacts. I heard about it the other day with the current was doing that. That was yeah, you. that was us. Yeah. yeah. But that could that's probably wind sensor related, I would think. Because the only thing that's input into that is wind, so right. current is the other. So if the wind is messing up, the current could also be. Yeah. <clears throat> Just in wind. <clears throat> How you doing, Josh? You good? So. And deck, uh, we have a wrap in Herc, so just to give you guys a heads up, we're going to let back out. Roger, thank you. That was uh, rigging on deck. Rigging? Yep. Did they suspect that? or? I suspected it. Uh. Yeah, there was some flopping around of the lift line. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Keep a little bit of tension on the. Yeah, so it doesn't flop in there. Yeah, um, Trevor, I would pass that on so they don't, so they're aware. Okay. <clears throat> Thinking it was us. Whatever. Can't live with the shame. Well, it's good to know because so if, if, if they think they're doing it correct and there was a. There was just a miscommunication uh, I saw happen. Oh, okay, got it. Um, and there was a best guess. And, but yeah, I'll, I'll confirm. Yeah, yeah. They might already know. Yeah, because this is a question for you, Josh. When I got up to the van, the tether wraps were zeroed. During descent, you're not doing spins, nothing, right? So, yeah, okay. That's what I figured. Just going to double check. I think so, yeah. This is... <coughs> yeah, I think so. They're still just going to pass it under or over real quick, I think. Unless he asks for a, for a different. And deck, can you have her cold there, please? Holding. So the DP is now reacting to the um, erratic wind measurements. Okay. But it is not fast enough to show any change. Because <coughs> the wind's flopping all over? Yeah. Yeah, roger that. Those waves are killer. They're still pulling out line. What was that? Uh, safety lines. Oh, okay. I just saw it in the Argus butt cam. I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, me either. <coughs> birds. Birds. The yeah. birds. Stop birds. Stop birds. Let's go birds. They're coming up to the knot on the crane now. Almost there. Okay. I didn't think it went that fast. <laughs> I will say the wind thing is disconcerting. Mm -hmm. It means concerning. <laughs> Have you ever been concerted? Oh, concerted, concerted effort? Yeah. Disconcerted effort? A disconcerted effort. effort. Yes. That was kind of condescending, Renny. Mm. That means you're talking down to somebody like they don't understand what you mean. Yeah. 